Hi, folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3, root.com for this week's AT&T Galaxy Note 3 ROM of the week for the SM and 900 a I don't know how to remember all these model numbers. It's hard to remember. Anyway, this is based on the latest Android 4.4.2 KitKat. It is the S5 experience. As you can see, it looks like an S5. Uh, if it looks like an S5, and if it acts like an X5, it's got to be called the S5 experience ROM. Um, so this is what it is, and let me go ahead and go over some of the features here. Um, you'll get S5 modded launcher. Um, this isn't exactly like an S5 launcher, but um, it is a modded launcher. You'll get a nice 5x6 app drawer, and along with the home screen, which is nice for putting a lot of apps. I don't know why Samsung doesn't do this. They put this 4x4 four four, uh, or 4x5 app drawer, and you're like, where am I going to put all my apps? Um, by having this 5x6, you have a plenty of room. I think it's the perfect size. Um, you know, with Nova Launcher, you can go 6x6 or 6x7, 7x7, 7x6. Um, but for touch, I think this is the optimal without going too small. Um, so definitely very nice stuff. And you got the nice swipe up from the bottom where you can choose uh, your favorite apps. Um, I like to choose my camera for my left or for down up. And if you go swipe to the left, you'll also be able to get some shortcuts here. I like to set this to maps. Um, you can also set this uh, by running these apps, the pull up from Jab, pull up from Jab. Um, these are the same apps. Because once you set these, you'll, you'll be able to bring up your camera. So you're not going to be able to get, go back to the settings. Um, so go ahead and just use those two apps if you want to do that. Um, now, before I get into all the S5 stuff, uh, why this ROM is so cool and it gives you X5 experience, um, this ROM is pretty fast. I really like it. It's, uh, it's got some nice uh, modded launcher, uh, first of all, and great performance. No bloatware whatsoever. Um, also, it has been tweaked a little bit for performance and great battery life, uh, which is very important. You know, most custom ROMs that I recommend have that and this one does have it um so that out of the way for those of you wondering um the s5 stuff this has a ton of s ton of s5 stuff um it does have s5 sounds um so i'll turn the sound on for now and uh you will get everything uh, swapped with s5 the calculator isn't too much different but the calculator itself is from the s5 um, there's also AccuWeather widgets uh, from the S5, and you can actually grab that by, uh, whoops, by doing a long press, go to widgets, and you'll be able to find the S5 weather widget here. Um, and let me go ahead and put it on the right side here. There we go. Uh, so for those of you, I knew some of you are kind of big on this. Um, there's a bunch of apps uh, like Gear Manager, Gear Fit Manager from the S5, um, S, -trans S Translator, S Voice, even S Notes. Um, so that's nice. And S Barrow, this is the barometer um, that's going to show you the current altitude, which is kind of cool. Pretty accurate. That's about where I am. I'm actually near the ocean, about 83 meters up. Um, so very nice stuff, S5 Experience ROM. Uh, also, of course, you'll be able to get the settings UI in full S5. Download booster, does it work? Uh, hell no. Um, so it doesn't work. This is just the UI, the actual download booster. So don't even try it. Tethering works out of the box. I think I told you that before um, for AT&T. So that's good. Other than that, you also get fingerprint menu that does not work. That's going to force close. Um, yeah, it's it's a very clean ROM, completely debloated, fast performance, great launcher, modded launcher, along with S5 apps, S5 settings. Um, so definitely nice stuff. And I think it does also have S5 wallpapers. Uh, for those of you into wallpapers, ew. It has no wallpapers at all. <laughs> um, so that's the only bug I found here. I don't know why, what's what's up with this. So that's will have to be fixed soon, I think. Um, but in the meanwhile, you can get away with it kind of uh, by um, doing this. 
and set as home screen. Um, so there's no wallpapers on this ROM. I just found out. Uh, that's too bad. But I'm um, looking pretty good. Other than that, I mean, there's no problems with this ROM. It is an awesome, awesome ROM. So definitely check it out for this week's AT&T Note 3 ROM of the week. And do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Galaxy Note 3, uh, don't, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh, galaxynote3root.com. And I will see you guys soon. Have a great day. Yeah. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.